The College of Veterinary Medicine at Cornell uh, started a long time ago in the late 1800s, in fact, and awarded the first veterinary degree in the United States to Dr. Daniel Salmon of Salmonella fame. And since that time, we've evolved symbiotically with New York State and particularly the dairy industry. Most students do an undergraduate degree first, and after their bachelor degree, they come for another four years here at Cornell. And then sort of our capstone big course that is, is the Summer Dairy Institute. So the Summer Dairy Institute is a program where we bring people together, either entering their last year of veterinary college or recently graduated for six weeks. And our mission is to accelerate their knowledge, to keep up with the modern and sophisticated ever-evolving dairy industry, as well as form a network of like-minded colleagues. And they come here by competitive application, so they're really energized to be future leaders. I want to become a veterinarian that goes further than just treating the individual cow, but is looking at it as a whole entity, as the dairy itself. We kind of call it like dairy summer camp or dairy boot camp. <laughs> the way that I felt about it is to be a good dairy veterinarian, you need to know the ins and outs of the dairy production system. You can't just know how to treat a cow, like economics, how the milking machine works. This is a program that allows us to delve more into those types of things so that we can provide better service. Our 20 to 25 participants each year, they all live together and they go on field trips together and they learn together. So they, they form a pretty strong network. Then we also have case farms. So they need to see real world challenges and opportunities and come up with tangible solutions that are workable for people, not just textbook answers. And then we bring in somewhere between 30 and 40 guest faculty, the leaders in every bit of dairy production medicine. We intersect across the whole value chain from farm to fork or cow to cup as it were be for dairy. Yeah. You know, it's the fourth biggest dairy state in the country, so there's a lot of cows here, but it's very diverse. There's so many different opportunities. Really, no two farms are the same here, which is really awesome. There's just a lot of community support for the industry. The people who are a part of the industry seem to be very progressive, and the climate in New York really does seem to fit the dairy industry quite well. We produce some of the lowest carbon footprints, high quality, nutritious dairy products. So it's a really great place for us to be educators and intersect with the dairy industry because it's a really good place to make dairy foods. At the end of the day, we all just love cows. From the person who milks the cows to the vet to the person who drives the truck that takes the milk to be bottled. We're working 24 seven every single day to make sure that the cows are healthy and happy and that the products you get in the store are healthy, safe, and of course, delicious. I'm Blaise Armange. I am Haley Stein. I'm Daryl Nidham, and I am New York Dairy.